Welcome! In this video, I'll show you that Python strings can be added to each other and even multiplied like numbers. Let's go to Creative Suite. First, let's practice adding strings. We will create a few string variables and a variable named result that will add them together. Now let's use the print function with result as an argument. Our first three variables have been linked together into one string. We simply added the strings just as we would with numbers. This is useful when one of the strings is returned by a function. In our example, the results could then be hello Peter or hello everyone. Now let's move on to multiplication. Let's create a simple function called row that takes two arguments, c and n. This function will return a text string consisting of c characters multiplied by a number n. n must be a positive integer. I'll use an exclamation mark as an argument for c. And let's say I want to write 100 exclamation marks. It would be a time-consuming task to write so many characters manually. We would have to count every single character and then double check if there are precisely 100 characters. Our function will do the writing for us, using 100 as the argument for n. Now, let's call our row function inside the print function so we can see it on the screen. I won't count all those exclamation marks, but I'm sure that there are a hundred of them. We can also multiply multi-character text strings. Let's call our existing function and change the arguments. Now I want to see 20 expressions of hi there. It will look better if I add an extra space between the exclamation mark and the closing quote. If you think that the result of our program is too crowded, we can add more empty spaces, which we can also multiply. I'll add five strings with empty spaces. Let's run the program. There, it looks much better. The same rules apply to a print statement that directly contains the strings. Let's erase the usage of the row function along with the definition. We will leave just print hi there times 20. Look, we can see exactly the same output as before. Now you know that we can add and even multiply text strings in Python. In the next video, we are going to learn about the new line character. See you then!